Governor Aminu Bello Masari of Katsina State is set to visit the eight frontline local government areas in the state affected by insecurity. Now, this is intended to open up new negotiations with bandits and kidnappers on lasting peace and ending the attacks and killings there. Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. The devastation left behind by the twin evil of banditry and kidnapping is the worst thing that has happened to Katsina State in the last decades. Katsina State was hitherto known as one of the most peaceful states in the nation, but that has changed as it is now faced with challenges of insecurity. Initially, the problem started as clashes between farmers and herders, but gradually metamorphosed from that to cattle rustling and eventually to banditry and kidnapping. The herders of the Fulani communities of Katana, Zamfara, Kaduna, Sokoto, and Kebe are one and same. They move freely within the forest area. Uh, for them, there is no demarcation. Uh, so uh, whatever you are doing, if you are not doing in, in unison, there are bound to be some problems and difficulties. Records have shown a huge number have been killed and over 27,000 women and children displaced as a result of the consistent bandits' attack. The state once initiated an amnesty program in the early days of APC administration, but that strategy quickly fizzled out. I will personally go to every nook and cranny of the, uh, of the local government. I'm going to the forest area. I'm going to meet uh, the commanders and the men let me hear from them one on one. What is the problem and how do we overcome it? The newly appointed Minister of Interior, Rauf Aribisola, was in Katsuna to examine issues and to discuss ways forward. It is of major concern to the federal government that we eliminate totally these threats that are threatening the livelihood of our people in some of the local governments. We are discussed extensively on those threats and uh, strategies to uh, eliminate them. In the last couple of weeks, the president visited the displaced people in the state at Bazari local government to sympathize with them and reaffirm the fight against insecurity. This latest visit to eight frontline areas is expected to work this time around in turning the criminal ways from their wicked ways. Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Katna.